Consultancy, training and advice from The IT Service. www.theitservice.co.uk Hi. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at Access's reporting tools. Specifically, we want to have a look at the ability to create a striped report, or one where alternate rows of data have a different background colour. Sometimes this can make a report which is wide, or which doesn't have a value in every column, easier to read. I've already set up a report here. I've called it RPT Customer Contacts. Let's take a look at it. Opening it in Print Preview, you can see that it's fairly wide. I'll just minimize the bar on the left. It's uh, set up to be landscape view. And we have a column here, the region column, which doesn't actually have a value for all the, co the customers. This can sometimes make the data slightly tricky to read, particularly if that were to be also true of perhaps the city and the postal code as well. And so sometimes it can be useful just to have alternate rows in pale gray, pale yellow, or some such, um, some such color. Now, I'm using Access 2007 here, and it has to be said that with Access 2007, that job is made massively easier. You can simply stripe the data by going to the design view of a report, of going to the date detail section, and then setting the alternate back color. By setting that to, for example, pale gray, when I next go back to print preview, Hey presto, I have pale grey stripes. And this is what we mean by a striped report. So Access 2007, job's done for you. But it's not so easy in previous versions. This was the first version of Access to include this alternate back colour property. So how can we do this with Access 2003 or Access XP or an earlier version way back to Access 97? It's not so difficult. There are two ways. One is to include a text box and alternately colour that text box and we can get the text box to maintain a, a list of the rows, row numbers and say if the row number is uh, an odd number or an even number then get a background color of, of gray. The other way is to set a little bit of code into the uh, VBA side of the report and the code will take care of the striping. And that's the way we're going to look at here. Why? Well, I'm not a big fan of adding controls for random things such as, as I say, uh, back colours or something like that. I think that if you have a text box it needs to display some text or a calculation. It has to be said, of course, that there are times when you just can't get out of it, that you do need to seem to add a control for some random purpose. But ideally I'd rather not be adding text boxes and then having to set them to not selectable and put them in the background, all these kinds of things. The hoops that you have to jump through to include a text box purely for the purpose of colouring. So I think that the, uh, the VBA solution is perhaps slightly more elegant uh, in the way it works. So let's have a look. Obviously we have a report here with various different sections. We've got the header, the detail, the footer, and the report as a whole. And each section, each different part of the report has its own set of events. We want to run some code whenever this detail section changes from one record to the next. So we're going to have to add code to an event behind the detail section. So by going to the design view and clicking on the detail bar here, we're now looking at the detail section of the report. Not that many events for the detail section. The one we're after is this one on format. And this on format event gets triggered each time a new detail row is formatted prior to being printed. We want to say, add some VBA code. Now, in this instance, I've gone straight to the VBA window. If it happens that you are being prompted either for a